Hello friends, a very warm welcome to my YouTube channel uh, Technical Sadiq and in this video we will see what is the uh, link loss budget in optical fiber network. So before starting the video friends, if you are new to my channel, I would request you to please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press the uh, notification bell icon so that you will receive the notification for every video uh, that we upload on this channel. And yes, uh, friends, if you want to completely learn what is the link loss budget in the optical fiber network, so please watch this video till end without skipping it so that in the future or later on, you will be able to explain it to anybody else or you shall be confident and know that what is link loss budget in the optical fiber network. So let's start. Yes, so friends, link loss budget in any network is nothing but the calculation of the total losses on paper and later on comparing that with the practical values that we receive. Let's say we are considering the optical fiber network in this video. So in optical fiber network we have to see what are the losses that we expect or what are the losses that we get. So the very first loss is the splice loss very simple everybody knows that this is obvious loss the second loss is the db per kilometer loss of the cable itself as we know friends that in the optical fiber cable is not completely loss free even if there are no splices still we get some losses inside that fiber so that is actually db per kilometer loss which is intrinsic inside the optical fiber cable network and that is uh, unavoidable how do we get this value we will get this value uh, from the documentation which is provided with the cable itself by the vendor from where we bought it if still we don't know we can call them and we can find that value out so that was a uh, loss number two the loss number three friends is the connector losses so the connectors that we use on both ends that also has some losses so we need to calculate those losses as well so these were the one two three important and major losses now what we do we actually uh, calculate these values on the paper and after calculating these values we will uh, have to do the practical testing and see that do we really get the same uh, loss value either we get lesser than what we calculated have we got a greater value than what we calculated so this is also very important but i will share this at the end of the video that uh, where are we safe should the value be greater than the one we calculated or should it be equal to should it be less than this is very important point and this will be uh, told in the end so let's calculate let's suppose we have 100 kilometer of a link of optical fiber cable and we want to find out the link loss budget of this network it's starting with the splice loss so we have 100 kilometer of length Let's say we have uh, about 20 splices in this 100 kilometer of length. So very simple, a link loss budget is equal to splice loss. Splice loss is 0.2 dB. Just simply multiply it by 20 because we have 20 splices. Uh, if you multiply it by 20, you will get the answer 4, I guess, yes. So link loss budget is equal to 4 dB now, uh, which is because of this splice loss plus what was the other loss the other loss that i told you is the db per kilometer loss which is intrinsic inside the optical fiber cable and that is unavoidable let's say that value is 0 0.18 right per kilometer and we are having uh, uh, we are having um, 100 kilometer spin so let's multiply it with 100 so 0 0.18 multiplied by 100 uh, we will get something around uh, 18 db so that it was actually uh, 4 db plus 18 db right 
what is the other one the other one left is the connector losses so connector losses we consider that actually 0 0.5 db this is per the requirement and per uh, the materials that you are using so in this network i'll say that this is 0 0.5 uh, 5db but the connector loss should not exceed 0.75db right it should be lower than 0.500db let's say we are having uh, odfs on both ends so there will be some losses at the uh, odf connector so 0.5db or at each ends we will get 1db so that was 4 plus 18 and plus 1 so what is what the total becomes 18 plus 4 24 plus 1 uh, sorry 18 plus 4 22 and uh, 22 plus 1 is equal to 23 db so we got through we got 23 db of loss on our paper after calculating each values now we will go and see the network itself how we will see we will see we will uh, find this out by doing end-to-end -end OTDR test right OTDR test will also tell us the total Spain loss this is the one way right total Spain loss we will get now if we are having about um, 20 dB loss at the OTDR 19 dB 18 dB or maybe uh, 21 dB so something ranges between 18 to 21 because that should be lesser than the one uh, that we have calculated on the paper so the paperwork is always greater uh, it tells us the greater losses why it tells us because we have uh, considered the highest value for everything right splice loss we consider 0 0.2 db but this is not as usual because there are most splices where we get 0 0.0 4, 0 0.05, 0 0.09, okay? So, this is, those values are very less. The better the splices, we, this also reduces the value, okay? And the connectors also impact. So, there will be, there should be about uh, 2 to 3 dB difference uh, with, uh, in the calculation. I mean, the one that we calculated should be greater than the one we actually practically obtained by the OTDR. Uh, optical time domain reflectometer now the second practice will be uh, of using the power meter as well as the light source uh, so from the light source uh, we actually induce the power uh, inside the optical fiber uh, cable or the network right uh, and then at the other end we will see we will find out that power that what level we are actually receiving so the received power is actually subtracted from the transmitted power as a result we will get how much power has been lost on the path end to end so oh, then compare that if that is actually rest lesser than what we calculated your network is okay if that is greater than what we calculate then there is problem somewhere Right. The problem can be inside the cable because somewhere might be your dB per kilometer loss has increased, your cable is compressed or there is some sort of other issues or you will see the splices where you have really really bad splices uh, which is causing the uh, increase in the dB per kilometer loss or in the total uh, link loss budget. Link loss budget calculation is also very important because you are going to set up any link you are going to set up any uh, startup uh, any new uh, link so what happens uh, you will see the requirement of those uh, network right that how much loss should be uh, you know uh, acceptable what is the normal uh, range of the losses in that network so that we can activate this uh, link or we should start that link so beforehand before going for the practical uh, setup of any new link you will do the link loss budget and then you will see that whether that is applicable or not and another important aspect is after setting up the optical fiber network end to end or the link end to end just like one we discussed which was 100 kilometers so you will do a calculation that whether everything is okay is your cable fine 
I mean dB per kilometer hasn't increased anywhere or the losses are within the limit or not. So you will ensure that thing. So hope that you like today's video. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and also like this video. And if you want to receive this type of videos in the future, please uh, remember to press the bell icon, the notification bell icon so that you can get notification for that. So that's all for.